Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about AMH, that is anti-Mullerian hormone. The anti-Mullerian hormone is a very important investigation for a female part of infertility. In recent years, the importance of AMH has been very uh, much there when we have to discuss about female infertility. So, what is the full form? Anti-Mullerian hormone and that is secreted by granulosa cells of ovary. So the ovary contains granulosa cells and this granulosa cells secretes anti-mullerian hormone. Now this is considered as a marker of ovarian reserve. Why we consider it as a marker of ovarian reserve? Because if you see the ovarian reserve, uh, the pattern of ovarian reserve according to the age so whenever the the baby is intrauterine the female baby is intrauterine then the ovary ovarian reserve is highest then the baby comes out and the baby is born in that time the ovarian reserve is in millions so there are millions of ovas in the ovary of a newborn female child with the increasing age this ova will be depleted because uh, at the end at the start of puberty like here the ova are still in much number in lakhs but once the puberty is uh, established and uh, every month the ova is getting depleted along with along with the, uh, the menstruation or ovarian cycles. So with coming age up to 45, that is a, a age of menopause. So up to age of 45, almost all ova are depleted and ovarian reserve becomes very, very less. And once the ovarian reserve become less, no more ova is getting uh, uh, dominant and uh, the functionally the female becomes amenorrheic. So if we if we relate this uh, pattern of ovarian reserve with the AMH levels of the female, then it coincides with the, with the ovarian reserve. So AMH becomes a marker of ovarian reserve. Why? Because it uh, it it has also a pattern similar to ovarian reserve in females. That's why we consider as uh, AMH as a marker of ovarian reserve. And uh, what is a striking feature of AMH is that it does not change uh, with the days of menstruation cycle. For example, if I measure AMH on day one of the menstruation cycle and if I measure AMH on day 18 of the menstruation cycle the AMH will be same meanwhile all the other hormones like estrogen progesterone FSH LH all these hormones will be changing according to the menstruation cycle that's why AMH becomes a a stable marker of ovarian reserve. Now, uh, the normal level of AMH is 1 to 4 nanogram per ml. If AMH is very increased, then it is considered as a PCOS, that means polycystic ovarian syndrome. Uh, see, a polycystic ovarian syndrome, the diagnostic criteria does not include AMH. But once you know that, that yes, there is AMH, then you should consider that there can be a PCOS. In some patients, the, AM, uh, the ovarian reserve is depleted uh, very quickly and before it should actually deplete. So, it can be called as a premature ovarian failure or POF. In that, that cases also AMH is decreased. It also decreases physiologically according to the age. So the AMH is a very very important 
very very important investigation along with ultrasound when we investigate the female infertility thank you friends